Hello all, today we're talking about cumulative frequency distributions and I just wanted to do a really short video uh, on how you do it in StatCrunch and I hope that makes you happy. So again, we're back with our superhero, oop, <laughs> we're back with our superhero data set in StatCrunch and so I actually have the DC superheroes, um, DC characters, I guess some of them are villains. Um, with their heights as reported and we actually in the last video determined to start the frequency table at 60 and to make the width 85. Uh, if you haven't watched that video and you want to know how I got this frequency chart, um, you should go there. Now to make a frequency table, it's actually really easy. What we need to do is we need to take the three and multiply it by the four and we're going to get seven on this row and then the seven plus the 83 and we're going to get 90 on this row, but you don't want to add, right? So how do we do this? Well, in stat, right, we can go to table and we can go to frequency and here are the original heights. This is the original heights. And so now instead of having frequency and relative frequency, I can have cumulative frequency. Okay. Now again, to keep this, um, Similar to what we did before, I am going to keep the bin starting at 80 and the width at 25 so that we can compare it. And then I can click on compute. Now, if you save the table, it will look like this. If you just hit compute, you'll get a table that looks like this. But you'll notice three plus four is seven. Three plus seven is 10 plus, oh yeah. The seven plus 83 gives you 90. The 90 plus 49 gives you 139, and that is how you get a cumulative frequency table. If this video was helpful and you want to see more content, please like and subscribe. Um, this is Dr. G, and I'll see you next time.